Hi, my name is Logan. And my name is Emma. We're excited to talk to you about one of every teenager's favorite subjects. Food. <laughs> but more specifically, we want to talk to you about the new ways a group of partners are working together to increase access to healthy foods and decrease access to unhealthy foods. Food, of course, is a basic human need and something each of us needs to survive. Unfortunately, too many people in Jefferson County, including lots of children, are not getting the right kinds of foods to lead their most healthy, happy, and productive lives. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains has long been shown to protect our bodies from many health problems. What we eat every day is a personal choice in many ways, but there's actually another huge influence on our food choices, and that is the food environment in which we live, work, and go to school in. Are there opportunities at those places to buy healthy foods? Or are the easiest or least expensive foods mostly unhealthy? Are there pol policies in place that incentivize the sale of fruits or vegetables? And are those fruits and vegetables appealing and culturally appropriate? What kinds of systems, policies, programs, and networks would help families in Jefferson County reduce inequities in diet based on income or ethnicity and help all of us enjoy a healthier diet? These are important questions to find answers to because right now, Jefferson County kids are not eating an optimal diet. Only 10% of children eat the recommended two or more servings of fruit and three or more servings of vegetables every day. In contrast, two in three Jefferson County kids eat fast food each week. And in fact, it's estimated that nationwide, nearly 40% of total calories consumed by children daily come from added sugars and solid fats. Part of the reason for these trends in food selection is poverty. Healthy food can be expensive. <coughs> Nearly 13% of Jefferson County's children live in poverty, and those families are forced to make really tough choices about what to buy with their money. In fact, 35.4% of parents in Jefferson County have reported that they often have to rely on low-cost food to feed their children. At the same time that families are facing all these challenges, food and beverage companies are spending nearly $2 billion a year advertising unhealthy food and drinks to kids. Those are some of the reasons that so many organizations in Jefferson County have already taken action. Our county works hard to promote both SNAP and WIC programs to families in need, of lunch, in need of assistance to purchase food for their family. Jeffco schools offer free and reduced lunch programs. Plus, many schools also have breakfast programs. Also, Hunger Free Colorado, Hunger Free Golden, many backpack programs, multiple food pantries, the Action Center, and others are working on making sure that all kids not only have food, but that they have nutritious food. And that's not all. In Jefferson County, we also have farmers markets in most of our towns, over 20 community gardens, and a burgeoning food hub called Go Farm. Cooking Matters offers classes to Jefferson County residents and child care providers. And Lakewood just did an extensive system on food assessment. And those are just a few examples of organizations working on this issue. There are many others. Because there are so many organizations involved, and realizing that a coordinated effort was likely to have the biggest impact, CSU Extension Service and Jefferson County Public Health, along with a group of partners, started a group called Healthy Foods for Jeffco Kids. And now, thanks to recent state funding, Jefferson County, the CSU Extension Service, and other partners are in the process of creating a Food Policy Council. If you have been at any of those meetings, please raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, the goal of this council is to create a food access plan to help assess food needs in Jefferson County and work towards collaborative policy change to help our communities. This will help create real changes in Jefferson County residents' access to affordable, delicious, and nutritious foods that will support the health and well-being of all members in the community. Thank you.